What do you think? <gasps> what? Be too big. This is really nice. I love this egg chair. Do you think about that? Wonder what? Yeah, we're looking. Thank you. What, the cabana thing? Yeah, cabana. Oh my god, I love this. Look at the lights. I love this. But I bet you this whole setup is like $1 billion. Yeah, because look. The 10 piece, 10 piece conversation set. Well, it's not actually. That's better than I thought. So I'm thinking that's the whole setup for 800 bucks and then you the umbrella of course is separate i love this egg chair i'm not sure why the egg chair gotta be 600 dollars, but i do love it this whole set is 800 bucks that's not bad yeah, i think true. but we would need a cabana because we get so much sun i know but we don't even this is gonna blow over unless you planted it i wish i could help me right now which color would you pick you like the dark one i kind of feeling this one Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Karima. So as you can tell, we are doing a mini makeover in Kingston's room. That's my son. If you're new here, we're going to do some cleaning and decluttering as well while we're in here. But I wanted to make his room more his style. So that's what I'll be working on in this video today. I used command hooks or command strips to stick the K on but I, I didn't leave any of the piece to pull out to pull it off the wall the arrow thing because I didn't want it sticking out behind the K but this is why you need that piece because you just rip your wall off so yeah we gotta fix that So I decided to pull all of his artwork down on the wall because I wanted to give him an accent wall. I originally wanted to put up wallpaper, but the wallpaper that I wanted didn't get really good reviews on textured walls. We have textured walls and it was a peel and stick paper and everyone was complaining about it falling down. I didn't really want to glue the paper to the wall so we just decided to go with paint. I love these two canvases that I just pulled down. We actually got it from the Goodwill and it was made by a little boy. So we will be donating it back to the Goodwill so someone else can enjoy it. So if you're new here, I have a four-year-old son. His name is Kingston and he loves everything sea animals, sea creatures, anything to do with animals of the sea he loves. He loves other types of animals too, but sea animals are his favorite. So I wanted to turn his room into like a little ocean. We got these sheets from Target. One has whales and starfish and turtles and the other one has sharks on it. So I'm just going to throw them in the wash so we can make his bed later. I also wanted to mention that this will be a two part video. I am a full time working mom. I'm a registered nurse. So whenever I get the opportunity to start a project, I like to take advantage of it, even if I can't finish it. So you'll see in this video, it's not going to be completely done, but I wanted to get a head start on it. Just a little unnecessary tip, but when you're opening your can of paint, be very careful because I definitely cut myself just now. Now, I thought about making some type of mural on the wall and then I had to be realistic with myself and my talents. And I don't have those kind of skills, so we decided to just paint his wall blue. 
I probably will try to find maybe a local artist who can draw some type of mural on this wall because I really wanted maybe some waves or something that was the kind of wallpaper I was going for I was also trying to do the trim the lazy way but I was tearing up the molding so eventually I had to tape everything off Now I'm all down for a good DIY project at home because it is the easiest way to save money and you can learn a new skill but I loathe painting walls. I do not like painting houses. Painting the middle with a roller brush is not that bad but trying to get around trim and taping off and going around plugs and outlets and sockets I just don't love it. So. I am so glad I was only doing an accent wall, just this one wall. It took me forever to paint this one wall. There's lots of little mistakes there, but I think it still turned out pretty decent in the end. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you an update of what the wall looks like. I am pretty proud of myself. I love the color. I wanted like a royal navy blue. Um, that's kind of what I was going for. So like I didn't want that navy navy, just dark, dark, dark blue. Um, but I didn't want royal. So I wanted a royal navy blue. And this is what everything looks like oh and i'm so grateful that i'm only doing an accent wall because <laughs> it's kind of a pain the hardest part of painting actually it was really relaxing but the prep the taping and the edging was not working for me my husband's like oh you gotta hold it at an angle and go do it up uh, listen i was getting paint all around the molding so it wasn't working I struggled with this little strip as you can see it's just a teeny strip on this wall so I got even with the tape I was getting paint all over this wall over here um, just moving too quick so I kept having to stop and clean it off you can probably no I did a good job cleaning it off like right by the edge you can tell right here obviously slipped onto the wall and even right here it slipped onto the wall but yeah um, I am proud of myself I'm sweating but I love it um, so 
since I couldn't have my wallpaper, I'm happy with, with this, with this look. I cut myself, look at this. I cut myself, I fell off the ladder. <sighs> All the things have been happening, but um, I'm a little, I'm sweating. I'm inhaling pink fumes. I probably should open the window. Um, I did have the fan on and the door open most of the time. I just closed the door really to get that corner over there. But I think, I think we're good. And it only really took like maybe two coats. So I'm happy. Now I'm gonna take a quick break and get something to drink. I am sweating. <laughs> And we will finish up the room. Let me show you the progress though, because before things ever get better, they always get worse. So whenever you're doing a DIY and it feels like things are falling apart, it's okay, it's not just you. Things have to fall apart for the vision to come together. So, watch. So this is what the room looks like. Kind of got stuff everywhere. So I am gonna let the wall dry a little bit and then we will get the room clean and then finish up. Another little tip, um, if you buy expensive paint brushes and you wanna keep them, wash them off right away. Um, I usually buy the cheap ones, the sponges and things like that, not to paint walls, but just a little project but I always end up having to buy more every project I do. So I decided to buy some nice paint brushes this time. This one was like 10 bucks. I mean, it wasn't the nicest one, but it was nicer than I normally buy. And I want it to last. So you wash it right away when you're done using it. It will last and not get all hard. You know, the paint won't get hard in there so that you can't use it again. And plus it's a water-based paint, so a little dish soap will get it out for the most part. I don't care if it's like tinted blue, but as long as it's pliable and I can use it again, I'm happy. So now I'm just cleaning up after the wall has dried, everything is looking good. I would really recommend those liners for the paint tray. If you wanna keep your things, you know, most of the time I do a project, I buy things for like a one-time use and I get the cheapest thing. But I realize I've been wanting to do more and more projects around the house, so I'm trying to buy nicer quality things. I love those tray liners because you can just throw it away and it really preserves your tray and they're cheap, they're like scents. So I would definitely recommend them. Everything I purchased for Kingston Room came from Target and everything was at least 30 to 50% off. I didn't pay full price for not one single item and he's got two sets of sheets, two sets of blankets, and stuffed animals, wall decor. I didn't pay full price for anything. Now I feel like I figured out a little trick. You let me know if you've tried it before or if you've ever heard anything like that. But I've noticed if I put something in my cart in Target or I favorite the item, you do have the option on the app to favorite it, to kind of save it for later. If I don't purchase it within a couple of days or a couple of weeks, it goes on sale. I don't know if they're just doing that to market to me to get me to purchase the item, but I like it because at the end of the day, it was something I want wanted to buy and I would prefer to buy it on sale, but that has happened to me numerous times. It'll keep reminding me that I have something in my cart and then eventually they'll let me know, hey, that item you wanted is on sale and that is when I purchase it. So try it out and see if it works for you.
have no idea why I'm tucking his quilt into his bed like that. It looks terrible because he has no bed skirt on his bed. I realized that eventually and I did pull it back out. And also I am doing a deep cleaning series for spring on my channel. I started out with my master bedroom. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out after this one. But I will be deep cleaning every single room in my house. Every inch of this house will get deep clean throughout the month of March. So stay tuned for that. That also includes his room. I did not deep clean in this video because this was previ previously recorded, but stay tuned for his room as well. So now we are going to put up some of the wall decor that we purchased. I did get him a shark head for his door. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. They had like dinosaurs and other animals, but I thought that was so cute. We also got him this shark hanging hook for his towel and his robe and my husband is putting that up for me. So my husband is hanging his little circle wall shelf. I actually love this thing. It was $35 at Target. Again, I put it on the cart and I sat on it and it ended up going on sale for 50% off. So I bought two of them, one for Kingston's room and one for my husband because he wanted one for his office space. And now I'm just decorating it with things he already has. That's just another little tip. Look around your kid's room, their playroom, see what things they have so you don't have to purchase everything. I did get that shark bank because I just thought it was so cute and it went with the theme. But everything else that went on the shelf were things that he had in his room already. Now I know the dinosaurs don't go with the room theme but I think his dad bought him this little kit and they built those dinosaurs together and I thought it was the cutest thing so I wanted to put them on display. came to clean off his nightstand. <coughs> Excuse me. What is this? Somebody come tell me what this is. And yes, it is very sticky. And it was under the remotes and his tablet. Very nice. So his teepee came from Aldi. It's something that I bought for him like maybe two years ago. 
He was quite young, so he never wanted to be in it alone. I was going to get rid of it, but he really enjoys it now. I ended up putting a blanket in there and putting all his stuffed animals in there that was on his bed. And, and now he'll sit in there and watch his tablet. So it's the cutest thing. I'm glad I kept it. And just to mention it, his little shark robe came from Costco. And his shark that is sitting on top of his nightstand table is actually a piggy bank. So here's what the room looks like so far. Like I said before, it's not complete. I'm still waiting on a few items to come in from Etsy and I need a few ideas for the wall on the side of his bed. Kingston loves jumping on the bed, so I don't know what to put up there. And I think I'm going to change that picture's position because it's so small. But there are some things that I'm going to rearrange in his room and add to his room. So this is definitely gonna be a part one. also like to add something on this wall for some reason it feels like it's missing something to me so let me know what you would add okay guys that is it it is the end of the video I can't believe it's a night time it's about to be seven o'clock and I'm finally done and I feel like I didn't do much in here but to paint this one wall took me forever um, it's not perfect but I love it you know, it wasn't my original plan. I, did I say that? I probably did mention what I originally wanted to do, but I am happy with the outcome. Like I said before, there are a few piece, pieces that I'm still waiting to come in from Etsy that I want to put up on the walls, but I have to be very careful with Kingston because he is wild. I'm a little nervous about this shelf, but I want to do something on this wall guys please give me some ideas because it just looks like too much blank space but it can't be like too much artwork or something he can mess with and knock over I'm thinking about doing like some peeling sticks but I didn't want to overdo it with the animals you got the stuffed animals and if, but if you have some ideas about what I can put on his on this wall over here so it won't look so blank so then every wall will have something on it. Let me know down below in the comment box. But that is it guys. I'm done. I'm about to go eat something and sit down and watch either some YouTube or Netflix. So I love you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one. What do you think? <gasps> what? A great white shark. What's this? Narwhal. A narwhal? What's this? An octopus. An octopus? What's this? A shark. A shark. Oh, goodness. Oh, what's that? Shark. You got another shark. You can't play with that another one. That one can break. Shark. Yeah. You Do you one. love it? A breed. Yeah. Shark food. Shark. Do you love it? Do you love it? Can mommy, can mommy have a hug and kiss? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Then we can watch, we can watch movies in here. We can watch movies on the iPad in there. Yeah, we can watch movies in the iPad. 
That's just that's the, that's my secret hiding spot. You'll never find me in there. You're in the cave. <laughs> You're in the cave. Say, so get in my cave. Can mommy fit? Is mommy too big? Are you in your cave? <laughs> You're in your cave. My son walks around with these books all the time. All this animal. Wow! Wow! <laughs> you was in the cave. I think it's Kingston improved. This is why I'm nervous about that wall. He loves to jump on the bed. Wow! I really don't want anything that can fall off. What should I put there, guys? Comment down below. It's sh swimming underwater. All right, I'm gonna play with my kitties. Good night.